women have been duped into fearing their own motherhood, relying on contraception and abortion to free them from what is arguably the greatest privilege known to humankind, a privilege extended only to women, to shelter and carry each new human soul that, unlike all the other creations of men, will last forever. In this series, we will discuss the most recent research and profound theology that reveal our true calling across the various battlegrounds on the war against women. Hi, I'm Samantha Stevenson, Catholic convert, homeschooling mother of four, and author of the book, Reclaiming Motherhood from a Culture Gone Mad. Welcome to the first of 12 episodes in our book study series. These commentaries are designed to aid and augment your understanding of the book, but don't worry if you haven't picked up your copy yet. This content will stand alone, and I am so glad you're here joining us. If you haven't already, check the description box down below for the link to your free downloadable journal and study guide. It's awesome for following along if you're completing this study in a group, but it's also the perfect way to make some notes and journal as you follow along the incredible content we have aligned up in this study. So let's get to it. Why do we need to reclaim motherhood? If you've looked around lately, I'm sure you've seen the evidence. Motherhood is under attack. Women are being called birthing persons and bodies with vaginas, and that's just in the medical literature. California just eliminated the word woman entirely from its legal language. I've seen t-shirts referring to surrogacy as extreme babysitting. How have we become so alienated from our identity as women that we can grow a child in our womb and not recognize our own motherhood? We are just brushing the surface with what is a much deeper targeted attack. Sister Lucia, one of the visionaries at Fatima, has revealed to us that the final battle will be about marriage and the family. As women, as mothers, we are the heart of the family. We are all walking around with targets on our back. So why does Satan hate women and motherhood in such a particular way? If we go back to the fall, we understand that Satan rebelled against God's plan which was revolting to him. As an angelic being comprised of pure spirit, Satan had the expectation of being superior to man. We are composite beings, spiritual and material. So in the ordering of reality, man ought to be inferior to the angels. In the incarnation, however, God subverts this dynamic, takes on flesh, and that wasn't bad enough, enrages Satan by making a mere human girl a virgin queen over all the angels. So, disgusted by the idea of becoming subservient to creatures polluted by material filth, Satan's view, not ours, Satan rejects his plan and is cast out of heaven for his disobedience. As John Milton put it in his epic poem Paradise Lost, it is better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. So, that's the key. Satan harbors a particular hatred of Our Lady because she has crushed his head with her obedience and humility. As Alice von Hildebrand observed, the one deadly enemy of the serpent is the woman. The enemy's most vicious attacks will be directed against her. And we see this playing out in our culture. As we will discuss in future chapters, women have been duped into fearing their own motherhood, relying on contraception and abortion to free them from what is arguably the greatest privilege known to humankind, a privilege extended only to women, to shelter and carry each new human soul that, unlike all the other creations of men, will last forever. In this series, we will discuss the most recent research and profound theology that reveal our true calling across the various battlegrounds on the war against women. We will look at the lies and propaganda that pervade our society what it means to be created male and female, the real purpose of marriage and the family, the why behind the church's prohibitions of premarital sex, contraception, IVF, and surrogacy. We will look at the latest developments in reproductive medicine that threaten to redefine who we are at our very core. And I will teach and inspire you to answer your prophetic call to spiritual motherhood amidst the admittedly grave 
present conditions. Society touts progress as our growing ability to do things, to conceive babies in a lab, to grow them in artificial wombs, to make synthetic embryos out of stem cells, to make three parent children, to select their characteristics by altering their DNA. I could go on, but we cannot afford to define progress in this way anymore. We must reflect on whether moving forward with a technology, particularly one that is a medical intervention, represents a furthering of the human end, not just the ability to do more stuff, which I realize is so seductive in these scientific fields. Who doesn't want to be the one who changed the course of history by unlocking these new abilities? But the truth is, not all abilities make us better. Not all interventions will make us kinder, more loving, more human. We have to ask ourselves whether these advances ensure the good of every single member of our community. And if they don't, if progress comes at the expense of our most vulnerable, what kind of progress is that? In just what direction are we stepping ahead? As Christians, we have to ask, do these advances help us attain our final end in heaven? Do they further God's kingdom, or are they a step towards a new battle where we make of ourselves our own gods? I'm Samantha Stevenson, and I am so glad you have chosen to walk this journey with me. In the show notes, you will find a link to purchase the book if you haven't already, and of course, that free downloadable PDF study guide and journal to help you or you and your group deepen your understanding and prepare to defend the church's vision for motherhood, for life, and for the kingdom of God from this mad, mad culture we find ourselves in. So tune in next time to learn how a biblical worldview becomes the antidote to this toxic culture. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when that new video drops.